Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Home Bookkeeper YouTube channel. My name is Emily. I am the Home Bookkeeper and the CEO and founder of EDJ Consulting Group. My company specializes in small to medium-sized U.S.-based businesses, and we handle all of the back-end transactions. So we handle bookkeeping, tax prep, book cleanups, uh, payroll processing, and business development, along with other services I provide fully on my own. Um, on this YouTube page, we will be going over QuickBooks Online tutorials. Now, the company that you're looking at right now is a sample company, so you seeing any of this data is perfectly fine. This is all just fabricated, generalized data um, that QuickBooks has created as a sample company for me to share with all of you. Now, what we're going to be going over today is a quick overview of the banking tab. Now, this is where I do the bulk and the majority of all of my work. Uh, the banking tab, in my opinion, along with the reporting tab, is the most important. Um, it's definitely where I spend most of my time. So on the left-hand side, you're going to see this toolbar. Uh, it might look a little bit different depending on the tier uh, that you selected for your QuickBooks Online uh, subscription, uh, but generally this is the same. On my accountant side, on the business side, uh, the toolbar is pretty much generic. It's pretty much in every single tier. Uh, just you might have some little changes, but go over here, click Banking. Now in the banking tab, you can see that you have a checking account, a savings account, a MasterCard. You can also upload uh, loan data. So if you have um, a mortgage at another bank or if you have multiple accounts, uh, multiple credit cards, you can really add as much as you have here depending on the style of business you have. Um, every time I come in here, I wanna always just update um, as the first thing I do, it's just a habit. It's a good habit to get into because you want to make sure you have the most recent and up-to-date information when you are working within the bank feed. So let's go ahead and give that a second. While that's updating, you can scroll down and this is basically your banking transactions. So this is going to look very similar if not exactly the same as if you were to log on to your online banking or look at a bank statement. Uh, these are all the transactions that are partnered with your bank. And then the bank transactions are now flooded into QuickBooks just to make your accounting super seamless, secure, and easy. So over here, you have Books by Bessie. That looks like it is maybe a bookstore um, or maybe a bookkeeper, just depending on the type of service. Um, a rental probably looks like equipment rentals. Pam, now you can also see that there are two records found. You can just click on that or click view and you can match it up. So I'm looking here and I see that the date that this came over was 2-28-21. Now Pam, also has 22821 and it's for Pam. So that expense matches and then all you're gonna do is click match. Now all of the records that are already in QuickBooks are now gonna be matched to that transaction. Same thing when you run checks, uh, when you're paying vendors, when you're doing payroll, if you're doing all of that within the system, it makes your accounting really clean and easy. Now, some companies, especially some of my clients, still are in an old way of doing business where they carry around a checkbook and they handwrite checks. Now, obviously, as a bookkeeper, I know what auditors look for. I know what makes everything easy. And I would say if you can, run everything through the system. But if you can't, if you have to write handwritten checks, which I highly suggest that you don't, you can go over to the uh, receipts tab. Um, you can take a photo and you can upload it from the QuickBooks online mobile app, or you can take a picture, download it from your email, 
and then you can upload it. And then QuickBooks is going to scan the image or the document for data, and then it will sync up to the transaction. Now, if it doesn't fully sync, you can always upload it, go back over here, and just hit, I would say, click the transaction. And then you can go over here and you see the little add attachment. You can add an attachment there. Um, but make sure it's a really clean picture. Uh, there's nothing missing. Uh, make sure you get the whole check in the image, all of that stuff. If you do it with the mobile app, it'll tell you if it's auditor approved or not. Now over here is the rules tab. Now, if you are a landscaper like Craig here, you might spend a lot of time at a hardware store like Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, and then over here in this rules tab is where you can create a rule. So you're just going to click new rule. You're going to name the rule. Um, I would say Home Depot. Um, and then you can enter in all of the data here. So I'm going to say Home Depot. And then I always number mine. Get money out, all bank accounts, include all of the following description contains. I'm going to say Home Depot. It's an expense. And that's typically going to be for a landscaper. You don't have to search through that. You can just sit supplies. And then you can go down. I'm covering it up, but then you would just hit add or save. And then that is how you create a rule. Now, every time a banking transaction comes through the bank feed and it's from Home Depot, let's see if we have one in our bank feed. I don't see any rules here, uh, but there's going to be a little green rule bar, kind of like these. That's going to say that this is a rule and under the category, it's going to show what you put it as, as supplies. It's just a number, another way to really make the accounting process simple when you're working with QuickBooks online. Now, if you wanted to add a new account, you can click this link account button. You can also upload from a file. So if you have a bunch of past, um, bank statements, or if you have exported banking data. So if you're doing maybe um, like a previous year and you've switched bank accounts, or if you just want to upload everything yourself, then you can click that. You can also order checks. So if you need to print checks um, from any of these banking accounts, you can order checks directly through your QuickBooks Online. Now over here, you're just going to click link account. It's been not working for me lately, so I'm going to see if it works. It's going to say, oh, something happened. But basically what this screen here is going to look like is it's going to look like a banking login. So you're going to click your bank. So I would say uh, Capital One, Wells Fargo, Chase, select your bank. And then it's going to have um, the next step is going to have you log in with your online banking um, ID and password. Makes it super easy, super secure. Um, QuickBooks is probably going to send you a verification to your phone or email um, for like a verification code. And then once you've done that, you're just going to come back here and it's going to show up just like this. Now, if you are somebody who has a lot of foremen. So say you're a contractor and you have a lot of people on your team and each foreman has a different credit card. You can also name the credit cards. So if you want to edit account info, you can nickname each card. So this card is a MasterCard. And you can go over here and nickname it Frank. Save and close. Now that MasterCard is going to come up as Frank. Now, if you have like three other ones, you can do the same. Say MasterCard Jim, MasterCard Joe, you get it. Now, every time you come in here, like I mentioned, always hit the update button. But 
as you're working on just categorizing all of your transactions, you want to make sure that you can match a transaction. So if you haven't already, before you start working in the bank feed, make sure you've uploaded all of your receipts. On edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, I have my favorite bookkeeping uh, tools. Um, I have the Epson scanner. So instead of scanning your receipts every single night, I would just save them up um, and scan them into the Epson receipt scanner. And then you can upload them into your computer. So you don't have to sit there and take a picture of every single one. You can just scan them all at once and then just bulk upload. Or if you are at Office Max, or if you are somewhere that allows you to email, uh, receive email receipts, you can email that receipt. And then you can also send it to your customized QuickBooks Online Accountant Receipt email uh, that you set up here. And you can just have your receipts forwarded that way. Also, if you're working with a bookkeeper, um, it makes it very easy. You can just email those receipts to that email. You don't have to email them to your bookkeeper anymore, and they just automatically get uploaded in the system. And I believe that is everything. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions regarding the banking tab in QuickBooks Online. If you're a small business owner and you are looking for bookkeeping services, feel free to visit edjconsultinggroup.com.